Hi guys, in this lesson I'm going to show you how to get an image from the internet and import it into Tinkercad to create it as a 3D object which you then can easily incorporate into your design whether it be for laser cutting or for 3D printing. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find a suitable image. So to do that we go into Google and we have to find an image we want. So I'm going to base mine around the Apple logo. So I'm going to type in Apple logo and what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for a silhouette. Okay, like that. And the reason why I'm searching for a silhouette is because it gives me a nice black and white image. Just like this. We don't want an image that's too complicated. So that wouldn't work very well. This wouldn't work. This wouldn't work. Um, a photo wouldn't work, that wouldn't work. What would work is a simple black and white image, just like this one here. So I'm going to click this one, and I want to save this onto my computer. So if you're working in the MacBooks, you can just simply click and drag onto your desktop, and that will appear uh, on your desktop. Because I'm on the PC, I have to right click and save image as I'm going to go to my desktop I actually have an images folder and I'm going to just um, create it as Apple logo it's important you name your files because otherwise you won't remember where they are so we click save now the next part of it is this was saved as a uh, PNG image and Tinkercad needs the file to be an SVG image okay there are different image types there's JPEG, TIFF, BM, uh, bitmap but we need it to be SVG so let's do that we have to convert the image and again we can use Google to do this so we just type in image converter and what pops up um, is these websites here and we are in particular interested in the first one imageonline-convert.com if I can I will put the link to this in the in the link below the YouTube clip so we click that and this is a really simple website to use we look at the left hand bar here and we go to image converter and we scroll down and we're looking for convert to SVG so we click that and what we have now is a nice green box here where we can choose files this is where we have to find the file we uh, downloaded initially so I'm going to a desktop I'm going to go to images and I'm going to go to Apple logo like that and then we're going to click open you can see here that it's uploading the PNG file into here and all I have to do now is press start conversion and what it will do is it will convert my image into an SVG file and if I take note at the bottom here it has appeared in my downloads so it's downloaded it to an SVG file okay which is fine now I can just go back into Tinkercad and I'm just going to go to import here I'm going to choose the file and I have to find the file in my downloads okay um, this is the one Apple logo I click open and this bit's important if it's if it's red uh, it says the file's too big you'll have to decrease the scale um, so here I can see it's 100% scale which means it's going to be 225 meters by 225 millimeters which is quite big so what I can do is I can type in there 50 percent so 50 I click and it will reduce it to be a little bit smaller you can reduce the size in Tinkercad if you want to but sometimes some images are brought in that are bigger than the work plane so it's have a look at the size and reduce it if you feel like you need to then you click import and what will happen is we'll have the Apple logo appear onto our work plane and what we can do with this is again 
we can treat it very similar to other shapes in Tinkercad. We can increase the thickness, we can decrease the thickness, um, we can change the colour like that. Um, we can use it to add things to, we can take things away from it. So there's lots we can do to this image if we wanted to edit it. Um, so a very useful lesson of how to import an image into Tinkercad. So we save the file, convert the file to SVG, and then import it into Tinkercad ready for us to design with.